nobody told us how hard it would be to become an adult to go through life. When we're kids, we can conquer anything, we can accomplish anything, we can do anything. We're full of hopes and dreams and goals and ambition. And we have a phenomenal attitude towards life each and every day. But as we go through life and we get older and school and then um, maybe college and relationships and jobs and family and bills and sickness and death and all of that stuff, it chips away at us. And we don't realize it because it's a long, slow, grueling process where we lose just a little wee bit each and every day. And it starts to change the way we look at things, our outlook on things, basically our attitude. So as we get older, our attitude tends to change on how we look at things and how we approach things. And even from the standpoint of what we think we can do, what we can get done, um, or what we can even accomplish, it becomes a choice. Each and every day, you get to choose what's your attitude gonna be? And sure, we all have things that we have to deal with, issues and problems and dilemmas and, and all of those things, but it doesn't have to impact how you look at the world, you know, your hope, your optimism. You know, there's an old saying that says, uh, whether you think you can or whether you think you can, either way, you're right. And you get to choose if you think you can or if you can't. And that's gonna set your mindset for the day. And again, that's your attitude. And your attitude has no age. Just because you get older doesn't mean your attitude gets older. You can still have those childlike qualities and goals and ambitions. Every day that you wake up is a new opportunity to do it right. It's a new opportunity to learn from your past. It's a new opportunity to maybe change your behavior so today is different from yesterday and tomorrow will be better than today. But it basically comes down to choices. What I would encourage you to do are these three things. Number one, evaluate where you are and the things that maybe have you feeling not so good each day. What are the things that are bothering you on a continual basis? What are the problems and challenges that you're dealing with? Number two, decide how important those things are. Are they really problems or are they just things you're, you're concerned with? Are they things that frustrate you? You know, are you having arguments over things that are really irrelevant? Are you having financial problems because you're buying stupid things? Are you having health problems because you're not taking care of yourself? Controllable, manageable things. Number three, once you identify those, figure out and implement some baby steps, some action steps. You can't, you can't solve everything in one day with just a few actions. That's why most New Year's resolutions fail because people go too hard, too fast, and they burn out. Identify a problem, determine if it really is a problem, and then just identify one simple thing that you can do today. And here's an example for that. You could start going to the gym, and if you go for seven days or two weeks or a month, you might not see any results. But after six months, you will see results. It's the same thing. You could eat some junk food today and you're not gonna see an immediate, um, you know, an immediate um, problem from it or, or effect from it. But if you eat it every day for six months, then you will. Same thing with a substance, you know, have a drink today, not that big of a deal. Have one every day, six months, you might have a problem. So it starts by identifying the little things determining if it really is a problem, and then number three, what's, a, what's an action step that you can take starting today so that you can initiate some change in your life? I hope that helps you, I hope you think about that, and I hope that you really implement that into your life because if you do, I believe it will have a significant impact on you, and then that way you can have an impact on others.